What is up guys, it is Zach Ploche, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload an image using Fetch API to Django REST framework. So let's get into it. So to show you this, I built a simple Django REST framework application, or a, a API, let's call it, that is extremely simply set up. So all it has is REST framework, course headers, and a app called Images. Inside of Images, I only have one actual model, so that's just going to be an image that takes a file. Now, I built a minimal web page that uh, all it currently does is just list existing images and puts them in a list down below. So images that we add will end up here. Currently, there are none. That's why it's completely empty. On the JavaScript side, all I mapped out here was the image endpoint, a function to just load the images on the web page and add them to a list. So I don't have any post stuff built yet. Now I'm going to show you uh, what we need in order to build this. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a little section here. So we'll just call this image upload form, show you the basic requirements here. So all we're going to need is an input that is the type of file. This is going to accept, accept. If you want to have all of your images work, uh, you can just say image or uh, I think it's, it's either image or images. So if you accept image, and then forward slash star, uh, that'll make it to where whenever you open up your, uh, whenever it prompts you to input a file, it'll only show you images. So that just says, I only want images to be uploaded to this form or to this file input, let's call it. So next, we'll just need a button that says submit. We can also just write a H2, upload an image like so. And that should actually be all we need. Let's just make sure that it actually accepts images. Right, so this actually ended up working, so we're good here. Now that we have this part set up, let's actually build the pieces that we need in order to upload that file. So we're gonna say const image input. This is gonna equal document, document dot query selector. And uh, we can actually give this an ID. So we'll just call this, let's call it image input, just like that. We'll keep it the same image input and the submit button. Actually, I don't think we actually even need the submit button here. Um, so we'll just keep it like this for now. I just realized I accidentally deleted something here. Right. So image list I accidentally deleted. Uh, so we'll add that back. So that's the list for where I'm going to be putting these images. So const image list equals document dot query selector image list with a pound key in front of it to represent an ID. So we have these two. This is pretty much optional for this tutorial. This one we do need. Make a way to actually upload the image to a Django REST framework. Inside of Django REST framework, besides actually just adding a file field, you don't actually need anything else like to define anything special here. This is basically good enough. In our JavaScript code, however, uh, what we're going to do is just make a basic example. So I'm going to call this const create image that does the following. Uh, so first we want to be able to get, we want to get the actual image from that image input. So we're going to say const or uh, sorry, let image equal image input dot files zero. And what this represents is the actual image that we're going to have inside of our file input here. So to see what that looks like, we have create image. I'm just going to make this activate on button click here. So on click equals create image like so. And we're just going to console.log image to see what this actually shows. Console.log image like so. So let's do this. Let's see what we got here. I'm going to open this up, put it on this side for a second, choose an image like this, click submit. And as you can see, we got a file object. So in this case, it's only one actual uh, image. So I'm not going to show you how to add multiple at the moment. That can be either another video or whatever. So uh, either way, we're able to see that this is a file object, that this returns the file object. Now, in order to actually upload the image, image uploads require a special content type that is not really easy to set up uh, without what I'm about to show you. So. What we're going to do is say, uh, we're going to create a form data object that's built into JavaScript. So let form data equal new form data, like so. And with this actual image that we have, uh, we're going to say form data dot append. And uh, here we need to map it to whatever 
we have inside of our actual model. So if we look here, it's image file. So the data we want to send is mapped to a file uh, key. So we're going to say append whatever that key is. In this case, it's file. And then I'm just going to add the image here. Then we're going to say, uh, let's see, let new image equal console or sorry, fetch. And uh, at this point, we can go ahead and make this async already. So async. Now we're going to say uh, image endpoint. So whatever the endpoint is that you need to create a new whatever contains an image, you're just going to have that here. And then we're going to define the actual options. So um, at this point, we're going to say, uh, let's see, body, or sorry, method is going to be post. And then our body is actually going to be our form data. So the cool thing about form data is that it automatically adds the appropriate headers needed in order for your posts for your uh, post request to work, uh, because normally your headers might be, look something like this, to where it's like headers, uh, content type, application slash JSON. However, this will not work because we're not sending a string data; it's an actual file. So you might also think it might be. Uh, what is it? It's like ink type multi part, multi part form data or something like that. Uh, multi part. I forgot how, to, how it goes exactly, but um, that actually won't work uh, because there's a special ending that it always ends up sending. That's called uh, it. Look, I think it's like a buffer or something. Uh, I don't quite understand the concept fully. I just know in order to find the correct one for an image, uh, I haven't found a good resource on how to do it and uh, Every tutorial that I saw online ended up looking like this. So just like so. So yeah, you just create the form data, append the image to an appropriate key. So it goes key and then value. So you have the key and then the image file there. Uh, like if you wanted to write this shorter, you could do image input dot file zero here. Uh, I just did it for cleanliness, let's call it. Uh, now you have this. So on its own, this should create your image. So let's just make it to where we know that this works. So uh, we're also going to add an await in front of this part. Then response, we're going to return response.json. See what this image ends up looking like. Catch error console.error that error. Like so. And with this part, uh, because I already built a few functions here to add an image to my page, uh, all I'm going to say here is console, or sorry, uh, let's see, which one was it? Add image to list. Right, so we're going to do this. Add image to list. Once that's done, new image. And that should automatically take care of it for us. Now, uh, one thing, uh, whenever you have a button on your page, not all the time, but Sometimes whenever you're building this sort of a thing and just testing it out, uh, the button will automatically trigger a page reload. So to fix that, I'm just going to say event here, and then I'm going to throw in an event.prevent default like so. And now our app should actually work. So let's try it. So I'm just going to add an image, go ahead and submit. All right, so what went wrong here? Right, I didn't pass in event, I believe. All right, cool. So it looks like it's still reloaded for some reason. Either way, the image actually did upload. So we can go to our REST API now. Go to not blog, just the regular REST API. Go to images, and we can see our image that we just uploaded here. So it's right here, and we can also see it in our small app. So. That's actually the gist of how to upload an image to a Django REST framework. It's not too complicated, but the existing guides might not be out there as much as they should be. So that's why I made this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like the content, subscribe. Also, join my Discord. And until next time, bye for now.